one thing that I recommend for people that are starting a podcast or interview series is the concept of batch recording. So here's what I love about that and why I feel like it's a sustainable workflow. Starting with sustainability. So you want to do this podcast, right? You want to make it rock. Realistically, the energy that it takes to gear up for an interview, if it's something you're just super effortless and natural with, cool. Like you might be able to rock like every Thursday, I'm scheduling these calls, I'm you know, bringing somebody into our space and I'm facilitating these interviews. In reality, if you are a founder or a key person in your organization, I imagine you're having more than one plate that you're spinning in the air, right? I love strategizing production schedules with brands where we might have, depending on your bandwidth, every founder is different, every you know, every host, you have different energy needs. So what we work with is finding out when is your mind clearest, right? If you're a morning person or if you're an evening person, like when is that spark of like your mind is clear, you're in that social energy, depending on your bandwidth to host, you know, that's every, every person is different. Um, maybe we schedule doing three to four interviews in one session, or if we're stacking two to three interviews between one day and the next day. So then you have anywhere from four to six guests coming in, uh, whether they're flying in, what have you. But if we have a studio build that's established, ready to rock and roll, we'd have all that calibrated and you as a founder or, you know, your host of your company can stay in that brain space of just fully leaning into what are the data points? What are the things that you're wanting to share with your audience about this person? What is going to benefit them? And, and it gives you the gift of settling into that host mode rather than you stack it in between your next you know, product meeting and then you have your marketing team meeting and then right before that, you know, you had to convert something in the warehouse, right? Like this creates a container for you where the sustainability of, hey, we're gonna do this every two months we're going to host and record four to six episodes, right? Like whatever that number is for the frequency you're wanting to share content. It keeps it truly sustainable because I'm sure you've noticed everyone and their dog has a podcast, right? Or an interview series or what have you. And unless you have a team of, you know, five to 10 people that are committed to building the content, the storylines, like the key talking points, the interview questions, it's going to fizzle out. So the sustainability, the longevity, what I recommend is batch recording. Um, you know, you have all that energy to adapt and settle into host mode. Your team is also getting to support you and like, Hey, our emphasis is making sure that our podcast guests have a world renowned experience. When we recorded season one with the Ruby hour, we had a whole workflow of like, they come into our office. We make sure that they have a beverage in hand. We stocked, you know, all of our mini fridge and you know, our stupid little Nespresso thing that I hated. Like we had offerings right? And we can ease them through our space, show them what we're up to, settle in, chat with them, go through a little bit of a brief of, Hey, here's what to expect. Here's the cadence. Here's how I'm going to host. You just relax, enjoy, and share what's real for you. To create that container of safety for your guests is amazing. And to be able to just have the full buy-in of your team rocking that is invaluable. Your guests are going to remember that. They're going to remember the way they felt. And so that's my two cents, batch recording, being able to commit your energy, stay in that workflow, have your team on the same page for a conducive, sustainable schedule for your interview series.